right, everyone. Welcome to Colorado. We're in the middle of Colorado right now. Um, we're going to be rolling into elk camp, I guess. Uh, I've never been elk hunting before. Uh, good buddies Coburn Carter and Jonathan Terry invited me out elk hunting this year. So uh, they've been doing it for a long time. Uh, they actually got a cabin out here. Uh, so we're going to be staying at staying at their cabin and uh, elk hunting for the next five-ish days. So it's going to be fun. Uh, if anything, this is just going to be a huge learning curve and experience. Um, they know what they're doing, but I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to elk hunting. So it's going to be interesting. And uh, with that said, I'm not going to be picky. I'm like, <laughs> probably going to shoot the first legal-ish bull that, that we uh, either call in or come across. So... Uh, I'm excited for this experience for sure and uh, we got four hours to go still and we're going to be hunting in the morning. It is 421, way early. We went to bed at midnight. Um, I'm very tired, but we're gonna pound an energy drink. And see if we can't find some elk. So that's the game plan, super pumped. First time ever elk hunting, first morning ever, ever elk hunting. Recording. Okay, everyone. We probably had a 45 minute hike back up. Pretty steep, pretty long uh, hike. We were huffing and puffing, definitely. But um, we got up high, we're kind of overlooking some low lands. Um, there's a bunch of elk coming off of some fields. And uh, pretty much the strategy that we're doing is we're just letting them kind of go wherever they're gonna go. Um, and then call Coburn, he's really good at calling, supposedly. We haven't heard him quite yet, but he's called in. 20 some bulls for people over the past couple years so super pumped and thankful <laughs> that he's here with us um, but yeah we still got probably 20 minutes 30 minutes before we'll start figuring out where these go but there's one just went there's a couple bulls down in here we're looking over a huge area um, yeah it's pretty cool it's pretty chilly this morning still about 45 degrees bulls are fired up we just saw one other hunter also pull in right after us so he might be not an issue but in here messing with them also so I thought that was him, the hunter. Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. How far? He's on the next little ridge. It's like a couple hundred yards. Dude, my heart got pumped over. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Sitting back down. This hunter is only 200 yards from us. Definitely a local guy. Which is fine. But he definitely busted that out for us. That would happen too quick anyways. <laughs> I 
do that, that would have been too fast. Everyone's not working. Right? Spend $680 on time. Okay, well, it's now 9 o'clock. We've been watching these elk just down in this bottom and not really interested too much just with other other cows. And we saw two more hunters behind us. Maybe a hunter over here bugling more, so they definitely moved in on us quite a bit, other hunters. But uh, we're gonna back out of here. Um, we heard right at the truck, we heard a bugle early in the morning, so we might bugle uh, closer to the truck and see if anything lights up. But other than that, uh, we got another spot Coburn has in mind that uh, we'll hit up this afternoon. Let's pack it up. Good. Okay, everyone, so we were heading to go get some breakfast uh, when we got a, a text from Jonathan. He shot a bull this morning, so he was about probably an hour 15 away from where we are, or we were. So we're heading in right now to help him pack it out, which is awesome. I've never seen an elk up close, like dead like that, so I'm pretty excited. And it's been a super awesome drive. But that's what we're doing right now. Literally the coolest dude ever. And uh, he comes up out of the bottom, coming up the draw, and so literally he got. Oh, man. That would have been so cool if it would actually work there. Huh? I thought that one did. <laughs> Get an easy pack too. <laughs> cow camping up that way or do you want to go it don't matter to me from cow camp i mean just you can walk up the road you're already going to be on that lower side if you go in the other way you just got to hike that ridge we can walk all that oh yeah i need to clean my knife right chris better not miss hey i miss, hey. If, I, I miss if i want to like, they've got a bunch of little hooks and curls in here now. With the riser cutout stuff? Yeah. 
I didn't know if there was like they a... They felt fancy. They felt fancy. <laughs> Have you gotten to meet Matt McPherson yet? No. No? Not yet. <sighs> Off to kill a bull. That is pretty cool. Yeah. This one's been pretty easy to just pick up and convert to from the guitar to this. Yeah. I was gonna say, truthfully, I'm gonna probably still stay pretty picky. I just am. That's fine. And if it's a cow, like I said, I'd rather shoot a cow and we'll see what happens in the next couple of days. Afternoon hunt, we're all heading out this time because Jonathan tagged out this morning. So we're kind of similar spot where Jonathan shot his. Um, hopefully we can strike up a bull. Ooh, I don't have my wireless. Oh, it's in. Rivers run dry, dust breath in the air. Two dark days, do you have a pair to spare? Make a promise, the world away. So, we sat for probably 40 minutes overlooking this big bull down in here. And we keep hearing one fire pretty far away over on this side. So we're gonna work our way around, see if we can hear him, figure out where he is better. Like two hours off of a piece of metal. No, it's fake, fake, or even hate. Don't be scared if the way paralyzes your state at the gate. No, it's a little bit. sweet first day of elk hunting I've ever done. Heard a lot of bugles, saw some elk far away, ran into some hunters, and got to experience my first elk pack out and elk in person up close that Jonathan killed. So super awesome day. Make sure to stay tuned tomorrow. Should be pretty sweet.